Okay, so my mom doesn't allow me to have any other social media other than TikTok. I didn't care and I had Instagram and Snapchat. I ended up having an online BF on Snapchat who was 12 years older than me. I lied and said I was 24 so that he would think I was only 2 years younger. After about 6 months he really wanted to meet up he lives half the world away. I thought he was kidding so I pretended like I wanted to meet up with him too. He tried to surprise me with gifts like teddy bears and cute stuff like that. And flew 2 days and 12 hours to see me. He didn't tell me he was coming. By the way, when he reached my country he snapped me where he was and I instantly freaked out. I gave him an address that was about 3 hours away from where I lived. And blocked him on all my social medias and deleted all my social medias. Thank you for your submission. Honey, never talk to someone that much older. Please be safe. People in this world are crazy. I was a freshman in high school and my mom was super strict. She didn't allow me to have a boyfriend so one time I came home with a hickey on my boob. And I was wearing a see-through shirt, I guess. And my sister saw and told my mom. My mom came upstairs and told me to hand over my phone and I said no. She grabbed the phone from my hand and saw that I was messaging some person named Christina. I had put my boyfriend's name in my phone as a girl name so my mom didn't know I was messaging a guy. She looked through the messages and saw I messaged Christina saying I love you, and that we had kissed. She then asked me if I was lesbian and I said yes and she was shocked but left my phone behind. And this was all because I didn't want my mom taking my phone away and looking through my pics where I had nudes of me and my boyfriend. Thank you for your submission. Okay, well when I was in kindergarten, I was in the SAC program where you basically just stay after school, and one day I was cutting something, I don't remember what, and then this ugly Oompa Loompa body ass bitch girl who was in like second grade tried to take my scissors from me, so we were fighting over scissors, and I don't know why but we were like at the trash can, which is good because I accidentally squeezed on the scissors and part of her finger got cut off and fell into the trash can, and she was bleeding everywhere, I felt bad but she was being a cunt then I got kicked out of school and my family had to move. Thank you for your submission. I wonder where her finger is now. Maybe it ended up in a cool dumpster. One time my family and two other families were having a dinner get-together thing at one of their houses. The other family that didn't live there had a seven-year-old daughter that looks like Eggman from Sonic the Cartoon. Not the movie. Chile she constantly eats. Anyways, she had a lot of chips and dip and cheese. She disappeared and no one knew she went to the bathroom until she called for her mom for help. When she went to the bathroom, she pulled Anessa Barrett and piss shit shart shat puked all over the bathroom that shit was everywhere floor ceilings mirror toilet sink. Her mom spent two hours cleaning the family's bathroom and went through three trash bags. We all had to evacuate while she was cleaning because it smelled, and we got nauseous. To this day I don't know how they can live in the house without remodeling that fucking stank ass bathroom. Thank you for your submission. Since you guys seem to love my personal stories, here's another one. So I had a girlfriend for like two years. We rarely got to see each other. One day, I was at her house and the whole time leading up to that day, she had talked about how excited she was to do stuff. You know what stuff I mean. So I get there and I'm sitting there and she isn't talking to me, like at all. She was playing video games instead, and this wasn't the first time we met. We had done stuff plenty of times so I don't know why she was being so weird. I was thinking to myself am I going to have to make out with her fucking poster in her room or is she going to get off this game that she sucks ass on and pay attention to me? Listen here fucker, I didn't come all the way here for you to sit there on your ass. For fuck's sake what the actual fuck are you doing? She literally made me sleep on the floor that night. I was like bitch I know the fuck not. Your bed is huge why do I need to sleep on the floor? But I didn't say that out loud to her. Anyways, I found out she was cheating on me and that's why she was being weird. So I dumped her ass haha. Moral of the story is to trust no one. Fuck. I hate love and women. But I also love women. Women are so fine. Okay thanks for listening to my TED talk. So it was me and my ex's six month anniversary together. So his parents decided we should all go out to dinner together or some shit I don't know. Anyway we're in the car and he whips out this fucking box and says that he got me a present. I open it and I shit you not. It was a monkey build a bear teddy. Keep in mind I'm mixed race. And my ex was an edgy 5 feet 7 slightly fat white boy who said the n-word as a joke constantly. He also lasted like 3 minutes max and he sounded like a 12 year old low key. Anyways, he gives me this ugly ass monkey teddy and I'm like really bitch you got me a fucking monkey. And he's all like no it's not a race thing I just think monkeys are cute. So I'm like yeah okay whatever. Then this fat son of a bitch asks me to press the button on the teddy's hand so I do. I am not fucking kidding. This thing straight out calls me the n-word. And I'm like what the fuck and my ex is laughing saying it wasn't his idea. It was his brother's. What's more embarrassing about this story is that I stayed with his ass for another two months after this. Thank you for your submission. You should have shoved the monkey thing down his throat and spit on him.
Everyone at my school has money and my family has a lot. And because of this I'm well liked and people usually want to be my friend. This girl asked me to go to her sweet 16 and I was like fuck it I'll go even though I don't care I went. And bitch I looked fine as hell. I said hello and sat down at my table and the father daughter dance came. Let me tell you this man was so fucking fine like daddy fucking pumble me into tomorrow. Anyways I had to sleep with this man so I decided to become besties with her and eventually grew to like her so she invited me on her family Christmas trip. And I was like hell yeah considering my parents were working. I still flirted with her father all the time. So when we went on vacation and got there the place was super nice. And we each had a room. We came home from the beach one day and she asked me to take a shower with her I think she was a lesbian but I didn't know that at the time so I was like whatever sure That's besides the point Eventually night came and I went into the dining room to eat some food and he was in there so I grabbed his shoulders messing around and I realized he was getting hard So I sat in his lap somehow he ended up fucking me on the dining room table and his wife walked in and then my friend walked in and it was a whole big mess His wife was a nasty bitchy raggy fatty lard with moles and cheated on him all the time So I don't regret that but I do regret hurting my friend Anyways my parents are blackmailing him now and my ex-friend and her mom moved also I'm pregnant cause we fucked a few times after Okay so when I was 7, I was playing 5 nights at Freddy's because that shit was the fucking bomb. And my brother who was 14 walked in and I asked him if he could pass a night for me because why the fuck not. And this fat lazy disgusting flip phone google chrome no chromosomes obtuse rubber goose green moose guava juice chocolate shake cunt said no. The next day we were playing call of duty on his playstation and he whips out his dingus and says if you go up and down you will be able to get free milk. And dumbass 7 year old me wanted some milk so basically he made me give him the got got 3000 and hand jobs. And tried to do anal with me for about 6 months before I told my mom and dad. And he got grounded. I still see him to this day. And I'm still traumatized grinning face with normal eyes. Thank you for your submission. But I'm actually so sorry that that happened to you. Get a chainsaw and cut off his rat. That's what he deserves. Period sis. Here is another one of my personal stories haha. So my parents are homophobic and support Trump. And they gave birth to a bisexual or lesbian liberal. I still haven't decided on what my label is. Anyways. My dumbass turned auto lock to never and fell asleep with my phone on once. My mom read my text messages with my girlfriend at the time. She asked me to explain why my ex-girlfriend said she wanted to quote unquote do sexual things. And I said that she meant swimming. My mom started praying over me and called me a liar. Me being the good ass actress I am. I started crying and shit. My mom ended up believing me. Later that week. I went over and did those um. Swimming things with my ex-girlfriend. Her mom walked in on us. Which was awkward, but at least her mom isn't homophobic. I have to sit at my house and be like yes daddy Trump please win but I really want Trump 2020 to just be his presidency's expiration date. I don't want to get kicked out so I just pretend to love Trump and be straight. But I can't lie. I hate Trump and I would let a hot girl rail me any day. Like mother goose. Shut up and let me love women. They're fine as fuck. I hate men. Men are gross. Yeah I think I'm just lesbian. Bye. One time in 8th grade I had this annoying bitch ass, ugly ass, smelled like burnt noodle ass, built like a caprice on ass, uneven eyebrows ass math teacher, and everyone hated her cause she was mean and her voice sounded like scratching a chalkboard. Anyways one day we were going over math test answers and she picked on me to answer the question. And I got it right and said it was an easy question and then she said if it was easy then why'd you get it wrong and I was so mad because I felt so embarrassed because some of my friends were laughing. And I wanted to get back at her raggedy build like a baked bean ass. So I unplugged and flipped her fridge in her room over the weekend. And when we came back and walked in her room I swear it smelled like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had an orgy and we had to leave school that day cause it was so bad my teacher got in trouble and we didn't see her for the rest of the year and i don't regret it one bit so miss miller i hope you get stabbed by your smart board pen thank you for your submission When I used to live in an apartment with my mom, there was this sketchy ass hoe. I don't remember her name. I met her while she was peeing on a tree. I was like what the fuck is this stanky ass hoe fucking tinky winky teletubby looking ass her hair so motherfucking greasy I swear to god I could see the grease from a mile away smelling like two year old cat shit that no one cleaned up. Anyways, we became friends and after a while my brothers and some friends came outside and she fucking chased us around with a pointy stick while hissing at us. We all thought she had rabies and there was literal spit coming out of her mouth. I was in like third grade and I was fed up with her shit so I took that stick and beat her over the head and knocked her unconscious and I fucking booked it. I thought I had rabies so I told my mom that I was infected and she laughed and I started crying and them after that I would hiss at my brother to get him to stay the fuck away from me anyways I was a whole baddie. Thank you for your submission. Okay so when I was 17 I had a strange obsession with my history teacher he was literally so hot and was 24 so I was like it's not even a big age difference. And I was like genuinely trying to fuck this man y'all don't even understand how hot he was. And if he asked I would literally rip my pants off and offer him this gorilla grip cooch of mine anyway I used to try to drop subtle hints that I wanted to fuck him. I would say shit like how do you not have a girlfriend and he would joke around with me saying he has no clue because he's so appealing or whatever. And I was like omg he must like me so I brought up the discussion of snapchat once and he said he has it and I was like omg what is it and he literally gave it to me so I was like oh okay let me add him so on the weekend I snapped him saying what's up and we were chatting with each other like friends and I feel like it's probably illegal but I didn't care bc he was so worth it so then I asked him if he wanted to play truth or dare idk what I was thinking but I respect my bravery 
He said sure and eventually I started asking him romantic questions and he told me if you want to hook up we can just tell me and I literally was flipping out but I wasn't gonna turn this fine ass man down so we scheduled a time to meet up and we agreed to go to his place when the time came around I was literally so excited so I drove to his place and told my parents I was I was hanging out with a friend he invited me into his house and then I asked him if he wanted to start and he said yes we started making out and then we did the nasty it was literally so good like Jesus Christ this man has a magical weenie I went home and no one found out about it I'm now 19 and every once in a while I go to his house and hook up with him I don't regret it one bit. Okay so one day I was at my ex-best friend's house with a bunch of other girls having a sleepover. I was in the kitchen with my bestie um let's call her Rachel. We were making slutty brownies. We fucked them up by the way three of the dumbass toxic ass bitches were outside at the park by her house. It was night. And keep in mind this bitch lives in one of the safest neighborhoods in the stupid town and the three girls come running inside crying like the little bitches they were. And me and bestie Rachel were laughing at them because they looked stupid. And they said that they were being chased and almost attacked by a big rabid scary dog so me and bestie Rachel thought they were dumb and went out to look for the scary dog and we found two Two golden retriever puppies that got out of their yard and the other toxic bitches got mad because we were laughing at them crying stupid bitches thank you for your submission this is my personal story i went on a date with this boy this summer it was going really well and i was so excited he took me to play mini golf he started standing weird as hell so I was like the fuck, are you okay? He said that he couldn't help it and that he was sorry. I realized his rat was showing. I laughed awkwardly and he said that I caused it. I literally was just playing this game what the fuck do you mean I caused it? He took me to his house and we were sitting there. He whipped out his ugly ass rat. I looked and threw up a little in my mouth. He asked me to give him that got got combo 3000. Bitch, get your Chuck E. Cheese hairy rat looking thing away from me before I grab scissors. I can't believe it looked like that. Why was it curved to the left? Bitch the fuck is that ugly ass shit? Suck it yourself. I said nobody kept persisting. He got really creepy so I literally ran from him. I turned into Usain Bolt. I said you wanna see some real speed bitch I'll show you some real speed. I got lost in his big ass house but I eventually made it out. Mans was packing. I can't lie. But I was so disturbed. He just asked me to hang out again. I will not hang out with a man who is turned on from a girl literally just playing golf. The fuck. Go watch Tiger Woods then if you like golf that much you weird ass boy. No wonder his ex left him. I now identify as lesbian. Like seriously.